Further delay, yes. further confusion, Absolutely. further uncertainty for business in this country and abroad. That is what he is prescribing, that is what he stands for, that is the result of his policy, and I urge everybody on all sides of the House not to support his approach. Let us go forward and not back with the Honourable Member opposite. Mr Kenneth Clark. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the, the Prime Minister's extraordinary knockabout performance today merely confirms, it seems to me, his obvious strategy, which is to set conditions which make no deal inevitable, uh, to make sure that as much blame as possible is attached to the EU and to this House for that consequence, and then as quickly as he can fight a flag-waving general election uh, before the consequences of no deal become too obvious to the public. Perhaps my right honourable friend would let me know whether that clear explanation of his policy is one he entirely accepts. And does he also accept that if he gets his way and gets no deal, we then have to begin years of negotiations with the Europeans and the rest of the world about getting new trade, security, other arrangements in force. And does he seriously think that this approach will obtain from any other country in the world a free trade arrangement which is half as good as the common market which Conservative governments have helped put together over the years? Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm a, 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 as, as, as he knows, I'm a, very, a, keen, a keen fan and a, a lifelong fan. Of, of, of I want to hear what the order. Order, order, order sit down, sit, sit down. Yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful. I, I want to hear what the Prime Minister has to say in response to the question, and that answer, that response, must be heard. The Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I, I, as the Father of the House knows, I'm a, li I'm a, I'm a long-standing admirer of. Uh, of, of the right honourable member for Rushcliffe, and, and indeed I was, the, I was the only member of the 2001 intake to vote uh, for my right honourable friend as, as a leader of the Conservative Party. I was. A, a, fact that, a fact that I don't think he, he, he much thanked me for it, uh, at the time or since. But, but I, I, I've long been a fan of his, and, and indeed in many ways we are ad item in our, in our views. Of, of, what is it? I, and I agree with him, Mr Speaker. I don't want an election. I don't want an election. We don't want an election. I don't think he wants an election, Mr Speaker, by the way, as far as I can, as far as I can make it out. Uh, the we don't want an election. We want to get the deal done. And the best way, the best way, Mr Speaker, to get a deal is to support the government in the lobbies tonight. Ian Blackford.